Okay, in this, this tutorial, I'll just show you how to select a section of a shot, um, export it as an image sequence, and then bring it back in as individual stills and put dissolves in between. Just review what we did. The first thing you're going to do is um, stuff you're usually used to doing is to create a new project, um, select a shot that you want to mess with, select a section, and then cut it into your timeline. Okay, then what we'll do is slow it down if you wanted to slow it down whatever changes you wanted to make I'm not sure that slowing down is what you want to do here probably but again we're gonna take every you know I'll frame every second or every half a second or something so you don't necessarily want to slow it down because it depends on how much movement you want in between but if you wanted to slow it down you could do it just like you've been doing it I'll slow it down this one down a little bit and then we're going to export this. And that's all I have in my timeline. It's just a simple, I started a new project, so I could just export this. I go under Share, Export Using Time uh, QuickTime. And then you should see a dialog box that looks like this. And you want to choose Movie to QuickTime Movie. Now, it might already be on that, but nonetheless. Let's go under Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to go to movie to image sequence because we're gonna we're gonna instead of making a new movie out of it, we're gonna make it into a series of still frames. So that's an Im image sequence. We'll click options. I think we decided that um, iMovie doesn't like PNG files, so change this to to JPEG and however many frames per second. This will be your second crucial decision. So that's how it's looking at the original time here and saying how many frames per second and I think we changed it to two in your case but you could explore different numbers there one you know to get farther apart it sort of depends on the the speed of the clip and how often you want to get those frames but this will just pull off two frames per second off of this clip okay and then say okay and now we got to decide where it goes and that's this little blue arrow here um, I think we were putting stuff on yours, like under your username, under movies, and then I think we made a new folder. You probably want to make a new folder for this because it's going to spit out a whole bunch of files here. So I'm just going to make a new folder and call it maybe image sequence. Yeah, if I can only spell. Okay. And then we'll call this test in my case whatever something that you can find later click save and it'll spit out that series now just to show you I'll go back to the desktop I'll uh, open up a finder window if you don't know how to do that you can <laughs> you can go under here file new finder window and then you should be able to go under your name find movies and then that folder you created and then a series of still images okay so there they are now what I'll do is I would, if I were you, I would open up my old project that I was wanted to bring these into, but I'm just going to start a new project, and we'll call it, you know, uh, sequence fades or something like that. So I got a new project to work with, and this time it's not going to show up here, so I have to import it. So I go under uh, file and import movies and I go looking so I can scroll down on this side and you should find your name again here your home folder um, why is it not working uh, interesting interesting doesn't work here for some reason it's not working well I can this shows me which folder in I can go back up to um, D Ryan 2 your case your username whatever it is find movies inside that folder and then we want to get all of these guys so I think that's what we did oh look it's not available what happened what did I do I'm trying to remember how I did this not available um, oh right we went through iPhoto that's right I'm sorry it's not a movie uh, sorry take that back uh, delete um, so what we had to do is go into iPhoto to get just to open them in iPhoto to see them. So I'm going to go back to this folder. I'm going to just 
select the first one and then sh press and hold the shift key down and click the last one to select them all and you could probably just double click on them. I'm going to right click on them and choose which application I want to open with because mine won't open um, iPhoto by default. In fact I hope I have it on this machine. Um, indeed. So once I say open it'll fire up iPhoto This has got some other stuff in there. It brings it in. Okay, then I think when we once we've done that, if we go to your iMovie and go under Still Images, you can find that stuff right there. They are. They should all show up. My screen's scrunched down so I can record this. But um, then what you're going to do is just select all these guys. And again, you can use the Shift key. Hold, press and hold the shift key to, to get a bunch of them. And I'm just going to drag these over to the timeline. And now, um, uh, let's see, what do we got? Oh, we got the Ken Burns thing going on. Okay, so uh, it, there's a series of still images, let's just play, that hold for, I think by default it's five seconds with the Ken Burns effect. So now what we're going to do is get rid of those things, okay? And if you treat them all the same, if you don't, once you change one, it gets kind of weird. So we're gonna treat them all the same. So let's go under Edit and choose Select All. And now we'll go and change one of them. And let's see, let's choose Clip Adjustments first, and change that to whatever duration. Now you got to think about your your dissolve has to, like you noted before, you have to have enough stuff to dissolve to so I'm, I'm gonna make it twice as long as my dissolve so let's say uh, two seconds and say done and then we'll put one second dissolves in there now we want to get rid of that Ken Burns thing so they're still all selected I'll go under my gear here and go cropping Ken Burns and select it and just click fit and that should apply that to all those things that are selected I'll say done and if I play I'm gonna get this chunk 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 so I think uh, we oh look it did change all the durations for me to two seconds so that worked out well it seemed like we had a hard time doing that now we're gonna just dissolve in between these so select your dissolve drag it cross dissolve in here and it's half a second so you get that kind of thing and we can make it slower let's make this a second oops seems like there's a way to change the uh, Oh, because they're all selected, so i got to click somewhere else and change this to whatever duration you want. Let's see if we can get away with one second. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then just do that all over again. I think since it applies to all these transitions that it won't be too hard. You just drag Oh, look. Now it says 0.9. I'm not sure why, <laughs> why, but that's close enough for me. Uh, because it was two seconds, it qu couldn't quite do halfway, so it adjusted them to 0 0.9. But that's, that's all there is to it. And um, Let's see. I hope that's enough.